Okay, I'm back. So, what happened there is something short-circuited the RAM in my computer short-circuited, which is funny because the RAM just a month earlier had short-circuited, so I have 4 sticks RAM, 2 had short-circuited before, now the other 2 did. Now, I am not 100% sure what is going on there. I'm hoping it's just that the RAM, um, was being pushed with an extreme media profile an xmp profile that he claimed it could handle and it didn't it, it actually can't handle that um so if it's not that that's the problem uh it could be anything really it, it's it gets down to just almost impossible to figure out if it's some weird short circuit in a power supply, a motherboard, or a CPU, or something else that that just can't really be easily diagnosed or found out. Everything is suspect. Uh, I haven't had anything just like totally short circuit and break in a computer in well over... 15 years back in the days where I was learning to build computers and was actively plugging them in the wrong way uh, or plugging them in while the computer was turned on uh, but suffice it to say it's been a couple of days since I last played and I was right at the end of wrapping up this episode so it looks to me like we got all three of the gold cubes because of the way the autosave happens uh, on this. Well, wait a minute. Candy construction caper was where we were, was it not? Hmm. What's funny is you, you definitely have other things that we can work on. We started... Th these worlds are out of order. Weird. Like... Because we definitely started with Pirate Playground. And then we did prehistoric peril. And then candy construction capo paper. So let's just jump in here. Um, I have no idea what I was really talking about at the time. Yeah, this is where we were. I was basically here looking at the items that we'd unlocked and such. Um, and the game at the moment is kind of in different directions with uh, with the um, achievements we flattened that area off we built that building we painted that building we built built a wall on this building I guess we could go back and check that may have been the last thing we actually did wow that's interesting automatic climbing I'm not pressing any button. I just pushed forward towards this area and climbed up. Yeah, we built this wall. Well, what can I climb up and what can I not climb up then? Hmm. Press F2 to, and he keeps telling me to press F2 to drop in the player. Like, am I not player one? It looks like I'm player one with the controller. I even was gonna like turn the mouse upside down just so it stays with the controller input because I bumped that. So you can't climb this tree. You can't climb this tree. So there's something special about like maybe because it juts out. You can automatically climb for that. Hmm. The 
Let's see. Press up to the drop in player two on controller one if act inactive or mouse and keyboard. Really don't want to see the tooltips the whole time popping up. And I do need to make a new uh, recording here, but we just kind of need to wrap up here. So the good news is everything looks like it's saved. And that's the important thing to find out here is if everything, for the most part, auto saved. Uh, hmm. And so, yeah, and with any luck, my computer now is going to be free of problems, but I thought that was going to, that was the case the last time I changed the RAM. It is fairly clear to me I was ignoring the weirdness of the little hiccups and judders that I've been having over the past couple of months as first indicators of uh, things going awry and if I paid more attention to that I may have been able to more quickly fix things or figure out what the problem is uh, judders again CPU or RAM you would think uh, but could be power supply too uh, Although it does seem like now I've reset like all of the bio settings on my computer by half accident and that mean and my computer's RAM in particular feels like it's running a little bit slower now, although it really shouldn't affect the Lego game at all. Hmm. Yeah, and the copy tool is weird because once you copy something, then you, you whatever you copy needs to then be placed with the discovery tool. And I think really their goal would have been at some point to be able to just have the discovery tool and then have a much better system to, to do everything with the discovery tool and that the paint tool and the build tool and the copy tool and the landscape tool probably should have all been just different modes of the same gun um, and we still have one more thing to do all right well there's no reason that to keep it to go any further this is just a wrap up and to tell you what was happening we'll start next episode and record a normal episode next time and this will be a good burn-in stress test to make sure there's nothing else wrong for wrong with my computer. But I didn't want to just have the video end in an abrupt clip. So that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me even further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and get me a gift card or game off my wish list. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.